Hi, everybody. This is Linda with WGON News and Commentary with news from around the world that points to the end times. And this sure points to the end times. Jewish Nation State Bill becomes law. Biggest prophetic development in 50 years. I wanted to report on this yesterday when I got this, but I was too bad off to do any reporting. I'm not sure I can get through this, but uh, here goes. Um, I, I'm not going to try to read it all because this is too much for my poor health. But I do want to point out some things here. In this article, he states, in my estimation, July the 19th, 2018, will go down in history as one of the most significant dates in Israel's prophetic history, right up there with May 14, 1948, and June the 7th, 1967. 1948 was the restoration of the nation state itself. 1967, the restoration of the nation's capital. And in 2018, the restoration of the nation's biblical identity. He goes on and explains what's going on here with this legislation. And I did some, uh, looked at other articles that got into the, the um, politics of this. And um, what I found out was uh, this is extremely important since they do not have a constitution. So... Uh, with the Arabs being there in in their government, their govern their their identity as a nation was being whittled away from them through their court system. So this was desperately needed to keep them and their identity as Israel intact. And um, I don't know why they allowed Arabs in their government to start with, but they did. Um, here it says it happened 70 years since the nation was established the length of a biblical generation according to Psalm 90 10 Israel's biblical and Jewish identity has now been restored along with this prophetic purpose to ingather the exiles and possess the holy land this is um, this is going to show us right here what the law entails. I'll let you read it because I am running out of air. Um, but what I want to tell you is this shows us that the church age is just about over. This shows us that God is getting ready to turn his attention back to Israel. Prophecy is being fulfilled with this. You can read this right here, Acts 15, 13 through 18. I'll diminish this some so you can read the whole thing. Um, but anyway... When the church age ends, that means that the church will be gone. The rapture will happen. So with this showing us that the church age is just about over, we can see that our redemption is drawing nigh. So I ask you all to get your garments white. How do you do that? The stains on your garment is your sin. Your garment is your life, your spiritual life, your walk with Jesus. And if you have stains on that garment, that means you have been in sin. That your life is not walking close to God as you should. So how do you get your stains off? You take a very good look at your walk with Jesus and see 
what you are doing that's sinful and get rid of it and walk close to Jesus from here on out. Guys, we're, we're almost home. This evil world, they can have it. I'm done with it. I don't want no more of it. So I'm sorry I could not cover this better. I just do not have the air to do it. I'm sorry. I don't think I'll be able to do bedtime Bible chat. I don't know. It depends on how I feel later. All right. Bye-bye.